You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. Healthy. A lot of people throw this word around, but a lot of people don't take any action to really do it. During the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, are you taking into consideration your health? Probably not if you haven't before, but should you? Because do you want to be around the other holidays in the future? Your loved ones, your family probably want you around, but we really don't know how long we're going to be on this earth, even if you're the healthiest on the planet. But what can you do for preventative steps to stay healthier, to optimize your health, to feel better? And that is where Titan Medical Center comes into play. We have therapies that can help you optimize your health so you can feel better, look better, and perform better, not only on the holidays, but all year round. So spend that quality of time feeling good with your family and friends, and that will increase your experience for optimal health. If you want to get on this train and become part of the Titan family, call or text us at 727-389-3220. Hey, you know one thing about it, man, is that we live in a world where a lot of people don't even take their health serious. They find it too expensive. And sometimes, you know, I can agree with it. In America, it's a little more money to eat healthy. But we get some of the finest cars, some of the nicest houses, and we'll put the best gas in these finest cars, but we won't put the best fuel in our body. And that's what Titan provides. It's not much to keep that healthy lifestyle, especially when you're doing it the right way. That's why I'm Team Titan all the way, baby. Let's go. Are you one of those guys that go up to younger guys and say, I used to look like you when I was at your age? Well, you know what? Age is just a number. Why don't you get back to that beautiful physique that you had before? Call or text us at 727-389-3220 to be the best version of you. What th therapies are your favorite Titan therapies, I should say? Uh, favorite know. therapies? Got a lot. We yeah, got a lot. I have my top three. It would be uh, MK677, okay. which is like an, uh, it's almost like an oral growth hormone. Okay. It does pretty much a similar thing. That helps me sleep, helps me eat a lot better, and helps me uh, obviously push more weight and get more lean muscle mass. Anybody okay. can get mass, but that helps lean muscle tissue. Right. It's a big difference. Right. Um, ECA, uh, it's a fed or caffeine aspirin mix. Yeah. Um, I use that before I train, also before I have to do things like this where I need a little bit of energy, a little bit of a boost. Mm -hmm. um, coffee was ruining my teeth, mm -hmm. so I, now I do maybe one cup a day and go with the ECA. So that helps me a lot. And the last one would have to be the Hercules Potion. Okay. That stuff gives you a pump <laughs> unlike anything you've ever heard of. Yeah. Um, bodybuilders were always ingesting stuff to get a better pump, better veins. What happens is it messes up your stomach, mm -hmm. it's harder to train, um, digestion problems, heartburn. With the Hercules, it goes straight to the muscle, and that's the only thing I want to affect anyways, yeah. so I feel great off of it. Photo shoots, uh, bodybuilding competitions, get pumped for the beats, that stuff works perfect, yeah. perfect. Dad bod got you down? Well, don't worry. Your friends at Tight Medical Center got your back. All you have to do is take the first step and call or text us at 727-389-3220 so you can start looking better, feeling better, and performing better today. Titan, more than a medical center, it's a lifestyle. For more information about Titan Medical Center or to become a patient, call or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Titan Medical Center can help you out nationwide. That's right, wherever you're located, we can help you become the best version of yourself, improve your quality of life and performance. So contact us today at 727-389-3220. How's your sexual health? Is it optimal? Are you performing like you want to in the bedroom with your partner? Is your partner pleased with your performance? If you said no to any of these different things, then at that point, you guys could benefit from one of our new peptide therapies, PT-141. It's FDA approved and it actually increases your libido. That's right, the drive effect the actual form of you wanting to go and have these relations with your partner. Not just the physicality of the blood flow and having the power of an erection, but being able to have the mental stability and drive with the erection to be able to please your partner and increase your pleasure at the exact same time. 
And don't worry, ladies, it just doesn't work for men. It works on females and even better. It was actually promoted for HSDD, Hyposexual Desire Disorder. And this affects a lot of women out there from not being able to achieve orgasm or having sex that is not optimal for them or doesn't feel good. So this turns it around for females too as well. Females are more mental driven, us guys are more physical driven. So we like to feel, touch, and all that. Well, girls like to connect mentally, emotionally with their partner. But you know what? If you can do both and all these different things and increase satisfaction for both sides, then you're just getting one heck of a peptide therapy. So whether you're a guy or you're a girl, it doesn't matter. If you want to increase performance, increase pleasure, and do it with something that's more natural to the body, then PT-141 is the therapy for you. And if you want to try this awesome therapy, and you want to increase this pleasure for your partner and yourself, then don't delay and contact us today. Call or text 727-389-3220 and ask about PT-141. You can take it injectable-wise, you can take it oral-wise, or now we even have a transportation rate where you can take it with a nasal spray. So there really is no excuse. So contact us today so we can help you guys feel like a superhero and perform like a superhero for you and your partner. In-laws got you down for the holidays? Don't worry, get on a tight medical center program and show up looking way better than they do. Call our Texas today to start. We're at the hotel floor in downtown Tampa for some promo shoots for December 20th in the Jason Skull and Gala. And for Titan Medical Center, we're up here. Rooftop, you know, seeing Tampa from this angle is a beautiful thing because, you know, Tampa's growing in so many big ways. What's up, bro? What's up, baby? How you doing? You good? What up, what up? Chillin', chillin', chillin'. What's up, boy? What up here? Yeah, you know, yeah, we are. Jason Skeldon, December 20th, video promo shoot. We're up yes, top floor, rooftop, baby. Up here, Floor Hotel. We're uh, actually taping a new segment for our ABC show, sponsoring Jason Skeldon's Skel Gala, which is December 20th. Main sponsor there, too. Can't wait. And we're getting some awesome footage up here. Can't wait for you guys to see it. So make sure you guys are tuning in to ABC Sunday, 11 a.m. for a tight medical center, health and lifestyle show with all our great events and all the other cool stuff that goes along with it. Therapies, feel good, look good, perform better with Titan Medical Center. Let's go. Here at Titan Medical Center, our medical providers and our medical staff are here to cater to your needs, to help you feel better, look better, and perform better, to achieve all those health and fitness goals you've been trying to get to. So at that point, all you need to do is just contact us today. You can call or text us at 727-389-3220. Come see us at our beautiful facility down here in Channel Side, Tampa. Or if you're not in the state of Florida, don't worry, we can service you too. Just call us, text us, and we'll set you up with a tight lifestyle to be tight and strong every single day. We can't wait to see you. Big Johnny, you ready? will you talk to me a little bit about AOD? Sure, so AOD 9604. This is a really, really nice peptide therapy, specifically for weight loss. So AOD9604 is 176 amino acid sequence of growth hormone, which is 191 amino acid sequence. Now, this isn't gonna give you all the benefits of growing bigger or anything like that. It's not gonna have that effect like growth hormone. But what it is gonna have the effect like growth hormone is gonna create two main effects, lipogenesis and lipopolysis. So what that means is for you guys out there in layman terms, it's going to not have you store fat that you're eating food with, right? So those calories aren't gonna store, and it's going to utilize the stored fat as energy that's going to boost the metabolism, giving you a great weight loss effect all the way through and through. Can't beat that, right? <laughs> it's hard to beat any of these things that we're gonna talk about, but this is one of my favorites, and this is a protocol or a, um, is that how you'd say it? A protocol, yeah, yeah, a, a peptide that I have been doing since being with Titan Medical. So and it is one that I absolutely love. It's really a fabulous one. You can do injectable. We have an oral sublingual for this too as well. Um, it's pretty effective, like I said, across the board. I would say it's good for people that want to lose five, 10, 15, maybe 20 pounds. 
Um, when you get over that, there might be some other options for you, but AOD can also be utilized with all the other therapy packages and protocols that we have too. So it just might be a nice little compliment to what you're doing right now. Can you give me, uh, how long should somebody take this protocol? Sure. Uh, four weeks, eight weeks, a year? Sure. So you can stay on this protocol a long time, right? So there's no cycling off, you know, or cycling on. I would say, you know, you want to give it at least a good 90 days. Um, 90 days, you should see a good result, especially if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, or if you're having a good nutritional diet, we're sleeping, we're drinking water, we're having some activity, which are the essentials. And, uh, you know, when you have things like this, this is going to really complement that therapy. And like I said, you can take this long lasting, so ever long lasting. So if you want to take it for a whole year, you can, but you really get a good effect, I would say 90 days and beyond. So you got that three months uh, taking this, and then like you always talk about, you say the Titan lifestyle. You yes. always reference that. And yes. That's that's sleeping right, that's eating right, that's yeah. getting your workout, staying consistent, yes. and then adding in the AOD will help you out even that much more. Absolutely. Get going. Do you ever wonder why you see all these beautiful people wearing the Titan Medical Center brand, looking better, feeling better, and performing better? Well, it's no coincidence, it's probably their tight medical center therapies. And you can look, feel, and perform better too. All you have to do is just join the Titan family by calling or texting 727-389-3220. How is your self-control when it comes to eating? Are you scared you're gonna steal Santa's cookies and milk before he gets down the chimney? Don't worry, because Tight Medical Center has a great weight loss solution that will help you curb that appetite so you don't steal Santa's cookies and milk before he gets there to deliver the presents. Aches, pains, soreness, all this stems from inflammation and injury. If you have acute injury or chronic injury, this can be debilitating every single day of your life. What can you do about it? Well, Titan Medical Center has great healing peptides like BPC-157 and TB-500 to help you get that inflammation out of your body and help repair the acute or chronic injuries that are going on inside your body. Contact Titan Medical Center to get it. 727-389-3220. Here today, ABC Action News filming two new segments for the morning blend for Tight Medical Center. We're going to be talking about some great subjects, especially with summer coming along with weight loss, blood work, and much, much more. So come on, join us, see some of the behind the scenes of us taping these segments, and you guys will be the first to see it once it launches on ABC Action News. And if you don't get to see that live, don't worry, we'll have the video we'll post on social media so you guys get to see all the great info and all the great things that we're doing here at ABC Action News. So come along and let's go uh, find Sharice. I think she's getting her makeup done right now. So we'll watch her getting all pretty and then at that point you guys will get to see all the magic as it happens. So come along and join me. So like I promised guys, some behind the scenes footage here at ABC Action News. And of course, I got my beautiful wife over here getting a little touch up action even though she doesn't need it. Uh, by our good friend and awesome makeup artist extraordinaire, Julie Buck. So that's a wrap. Me and my wife Sharice here just got done finishing up our morning blend segments here at ABC Action News. We love it here, we love coming in the studio, um, being able to, you know, express our message and send it out to those great people out there that really can benefit from it and change their quality of life and change their lifestyle into a healthy one. That's what Titan Medical Center is all about. So it's really, really uh, humbling to be in here, to be able to do this. Uh, we had a great time as always. Always right, a good time. Always a good time with, with my lovely husband over yeah. here. Yeah. So. Talk about some really good ones. Well, he, really good he does this all the time. So he's he's on it, always on it. So I, I, I love that. And then I can just bounce off of them. It makes it easy for me. Gotta be. <laughs> so you guys want to definitely check out these segments. If you guys don't get to watch it live on ABC Action News, The Morning Blend, you can DVR it. Or you guys can go to our social media platforms, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. And I promise you get to see these segments for yourself. And you definitely want to tune into them. We talk about semi-glutide, we talk about blood work, and a lot of other information you guys will benefit from. 
So make sure you guys are tuning in to our social medias or to ABC Action News and watching the Morning Bun for yourself. See you then. You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. I love being a patient of Titan Medical Center. From the atmosphere to the service, everything is always amazing. I would recommend Titan Medical Center for anybody who wants to be the best version of themselves. With the holidays coming, you know what's coming next, weight gain. And you don't want that, right? Because all that food you're eating or maybe overeating over the holidays is going to be stacking on the weight. What can you do? Call Titan Medical Center. Our weight loss options will be a sure guarantee for you to shred those pounds and be ready for the new year. Don't accept an alternative. Don't accept a substitute. Come to the real deal. Titan Medical Center is here for you to make you feel better, look better, and perform better every single day. So call or text us to get started on your new quality of life. When it comes to reaching your optimal health and fitness goals, Titan Medical Center is here to help. From medical services to custom therapies, apparel, and so much more, Titan Medical wants to help you feel, look, and perform at your optimal levels. For more information on becoming a patient, you can call or text us at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are bringing you guys good tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, entice, and improve your relationship or future relationship if you're not in one currently. So this should help guys and girls out in all these situations that you might be coming through. And you know what? If you've been dating out there, it's not so easy. It never has been, but I think it's harder than ever. And I haven't been in the dating game for almost 14 years now. So I'm really out of touch as far as that goes. Yeah. But yeah, he'll never be in the dating game ever again. I do live vicariously <laughs> through all my friends and what they tell me and all the things that they've went through, currently going through, or just things that they say is out there that I think is just absolutely insane or crazy. Slightly abnormal. But that is the environment that we're living in, that you're living in, so we gotta adapt to it and hopefully get over and overcome and find love in all the right places and not the wrong ones. Mm -hmm. So let's get it on today. So this one I guess is good for anybody that's getting into the dating game. And like I said, I haven't been in a long time, but it's a pretty good way to start, I guess, any date. And that's the top three questions you would ask on your date. Now, I'm sure my questions will be a little bit different than Sharice's questions are going to be. And I guess in the scenario that you're going to be in, the questions might change, right? So we were talking about this earlier, like where, you know, if you're going on a date and you're just going to date to date per se or grind or whatever is out there. Tinder. Tinder Binder, or whatever. Binder, um, you know, those questions might be a little bit different on your first date because you're really not looking for love, right? You're just but, like, hey, have you ever had an STD? Uh, have you ever had this go on? Oh. Those are the serious questions you're going to ask if you're swiping to the left and you really don't care, oh, right? Oh, man. Let's be oh, realistic, man. guys. Come on. Oh, I'm wow. the realist. I'm going to take, I'll take full credit for that. <laughs> you know, I'm the one that's going to tell you how it is. And you guys know yeah. that if you're the swipers, you're going to want to know that answer. Now, what you ask, uh, that's a whole other question. You might not get the right <laughs> truthful answer, even if you ask the right questions. Yeah. Right. Uh, so let's talk about. So you know, what? What are yours? What are yours? Well, are if it's a romantic type thing, I want to know just generally speaking. Who cares if it was romantic? Or well, not, I mean, right? if, I, if I'm looking for, like, if, if yeah, it's, like if you're gonna like be on like date? a real date, yeah. Okay, so a real date, right? I'm gonna ask a couple questions that I can find out some things about the girl um, to go on to lead into more questions or to find out, you know, what some of their likes are. So obviously, you know, what do you like to do? 
because what do you like to do? What's your favorite color? I feel like that's no, no. The what what's your favorite color? I think is <laughs> six months in. Yeah, I think that's like down the road. Like you know, you want to learn more about your partner. That's another like what you know, your hobbies are. Detail. Is that what you're saying? Well, no. What do you like to do? What do you like to do for fun? So when you're not working, right? What do you like to do for fun? Is it going out to the movies? You like to go out to the beach if you live in Florida? Um, you like to work out or exercise? Like. You know some sort of things that re you really like to do like some people are into comic books some people are into jewelry some people are into fashion you know there's all these different things that you really don't know like you can't judge a book by its cover because i can go up to somebody and think and stereotype well i i think they're like this and that and then you ask them these questions and it's totally different from what i may have perceived mm. right True. you know so you really can't judge a book by its cover so like I know like when me and Sharice first started dating, she didn't think I liked hip hop music or new hip hop music or stuff like that. And so she actually heard me like singing some songs. She's like, Oh my god, like, like yeah, like I like oh my all god, forms you of music, like right? you like rap music? I like all forms of music except for country. <laughs> Just hate me or love me. I'm not doing country either, sorry. But I'm not a country person. Even though I rode horses and did all this stuff growing up. I don't like country music. It just it, it doesn't do it for me. Oh. Um, and that's okay if you do too, <laughs> because everybody should like everything different or exactly. it's totally up to you what you like and don't like. Um, so at that point, you know, I'm going to ask what, what they like to do, right? Because that's going to lead me on to talk about something, you know, what they like or what maybe we more both topics, like, I guess, right? Yeah. More topics or future date, yeah. right? You get that information. A non-future date. Know, right? You, you put it in the, the, the memory banks and then you know, like, oh, well, she, wants, she likes to go horseback riding. She likes to go horseback Whatever it oh, is. He likes to play video games. Uh, we're not going on another date. Right, right. Well, you, I mean, <laughs> you go to Dave & Buster's. So, you know, there's, I there's, love Dave Buster's. See, and you can play video games and you can have some liquor if you want to. You can eat there. Yeah. You know, whatever you want. Maybe you're dating some girl who has kids. and Yeah, that would be my first question is, do you have baggage? And I'm not talking about the luggage you take on a plane. I would want to know if you yeah. have children. I mean, that that honestly, I, I mean, before I met John, that, that was a deal breaker for me. Is that the first question you ask? Um, yes. Okay, so you guys meet, or like, so when you're on the phone, you're like, oh, we go out with me or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. That's how it used to be, I don't know. So you go out with me, yes, okay, I'll pick you up at 7 p.m. Yep. Right, so you pick him up at 7 p.m., you're in the car How's driving. your day going? What, how, how, what's going on with you? You know, you have the typical conversation. And you really, truly, well, I find my way to get this answer no matter what, because this will judge whether the date is going to be 30 minutes or the date will, might, might last the whole night, right? Oh, wow. Because that would be a deal breaker. You would figure you'd want some of the deal breaker questions to try to get out as soon as possible. Yeah. So you're not wasting time, right? Cause you can't get time back. Yeah. So why waste time? I mean, unless they're just a good person and it might be a cool friend down the line, that right. might be a different story. Right, right. But that's going to be one of the very first questions I'm going to get out of you. Like, you know, I will have, so have you ever been married before? Like, have you, have you ever had any kids? There's a pretty like serious questions right after that though. Right? I, I would love to know. Right. You're, I'm going to find out. <laughs> Second question I would say is, you know, what do you like to eat? You know, what's your favorite food, right? Because that's setting up dinner or maybe we're going out somewhere and hopefully the menu has that on it. That would probably be my second question off the bat. That's so nice. I would be, I would, I would know that, you know, what, what your likes, dislikes are right, right off the bat. What do you want to eat? Because everybody has to eat, right? Whether it's a guy or a girl, everybody has to eat no matter what. Um, and you can kind of choose based off that and kind of go go to some place maybe they have everything that you like and they like and you're, you're good right instead of like somebody saying i'm a vegetarian and i take them to a steakhouse <laughs> right. now they, they might, have veggies they have they have some stuff uh, <laughs> but you know it's just like oh yeah. man Oops. i hate meat now nah, you took me around meat like it's just a deal breaker for them like so it is what it is um third question i would say what are you looking for right like, what are you looking for? Are, you know, are, are that's a pretty in-depth question, I believe. Well, I mean, I think that's that's a good question to go off of. I mean, because you know, like, hey, are you looking, you know, dating or you know, you know, everything like that? I would stay away from questions about exes. I, I don't, I don't think that's a good one to talk about on the first date because you're always going back to talking about your ex and negative stuff. I'd like to stay in the positive realm. You know, I think the positivity needs to flow, and then yeah. later on in the relationship. You know, you can kind of... I, I do all, it's the, come up, right? all the very serious questions, I certainly get out right away. So my next question would probably be... I don't be, think she ever asked me if I had kids or if I've been married. Or, no, or I knew married. he didn't have kids. Oh, she knew. I already that. did background check on John. Oh, she knew. That. I already knew. I already knew. Watch out. Man. I knew. I knew. So, and listen, if, you, if you're able... If you know a friend of a friend of a friend that knows the person that you might like or that you think about might you might want to date... You might start asking some questions, so maybe you can. You don't have to ask the question, right? Unless they have some 
you know, family that they have uh, hiding in some other state or something you don't know about. Yeah, I see. But um, the next question I would personally ask is, you know, like, what do you do for a living? You know what I mean? I, I would love to know what do you do for a living? And I could really care less. It's not really like a money question. It's more or less like, what do you do for a living? Like what that's going to, that's going to kind of show like, all right, how many hours are you working a day? Are you working from home? Are you working at work? Are you on a truck? You know, oh, how many people are you around this? I mean, I, I would want to know what you do for a living. That would make that would that would I would want to know that in the first date, yes. I mean, I think in the first date I would ask that question too. Yeah, like, right. Like, what do you what do? You, what do, do, you, do, do? What do you? How, how many people do you meet? And you're like, so what do you do? I mean, you can even be at a bar, right, and be like, so what do you do for a living? You know, it's just, it's like it, it is a very I, yeah. I think a very common question. It's a very common question, um, and you know, I don't know how I feel about the question anymore because like just yesterday, right, I'm sitting at the house and I've got like, you know, we're brand new house, we've got all these contractors coming in, still, <laughs> it's like six contracts. And literally, like, they'll come in, they'll see this stuff around, like, the cars and stuff like that. And that's the first question I ask me, man, what do you do? Well, like, that's, that, a that's a different, that's a different setup. I tell them, like, but, a different setup, a different story. But, you know, but, but do girls the same way, right? Like, you drive, like, this, this fancy-ass car or whatever it is, like, what do you do? Do they ask that to some guy that's driving, like, a Nissan Maxima or whatever it is? Well, let's, let, let, let me ask a question, right, from a, a girl's perspective, and maybe it is a guy's perspective, right? If you were on a date or going on a date with a girl, right? Would you want to know if she was maybe a dancer? Would you want to know that? I mean, I, I think, you know, you'd, you'd want to get in the conversation of what they do for a living. Because, we want to get that out. Is that what you want to know? You know, I, I think, I I think know. that's something that you do want to find out about somebody because, you know what, there's different things that people don't like, right? There's people have different morals, ethics, boundaries. And, um, you know, one person might have different boundaries than the other person does. And that's just not going to mix with the other person per se, right? So like here in Florida, if you know you get a, 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 approached by, let's say, a swinger, right? And you're not into that lifestyle, right? Uh -huh. Then you're probably uh -huh. not gonna go pretty, pretty well there. It's gonna be two different thinking. Or you might go into that, who knows? But you know, not until you ask these questions are you really gonna find out. And this is why you ask those questions. It's key, it really is key to ask, you know? So <laughs> just think about this when you're going on your, your dates, your relationships, you know, where, where you're trying to, to break the ice. You know, you want to ask some of these questions because you want to find out more about them, if it's going to be a right fit for you and what you're looking for. And you know, what you're looking for and you find might be totally different. You might be happy about that. You never know until you get in the situation, but you need to know that information to start somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So these are just some <laughs> tips, tips, tricks, and things that will help you guys out down the road. If you have to go on a date or whatever it is, Make sure you find out information about them, maybe about their past and you stuff You know, it's like right that. though. John is so right. I must say this before we end the show, right? I, I for sure, I thought John was a DJ when I met him. I did. He, I mean, he wore his hat, like it was a cock to the side. And, you know, he looked like, you know, was, I mean, I, he just, I, I, I don't know where I got that from. Right? But I didn't ask the question. And that's not what he did for a living. Yeah. All right, guys, we got to go. Thank you guys for tuning in to Cupid's Corner. Check us out every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. Or you guys can DVR it or go to YouTube and type in Tight Medical Center and see all the great shows that we have to offer you guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you guys next Sunday on the Cupid's Corner. See you then.